don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm sick. I don't know. I've had a sore throat. My throat's been sore for a month and a half. And I just don't think that this is the right environment for you to demand this of me. <laughs> Something like that. You gotta get them stepbrothers quotes in the vlog. I don't feel good. I like cars. So we're gonna go look at them even though I'm sick. What? No. Shit. I'm allowed to swear, I'm not even monetized, so this. Yeah. I don't feel good. Big Kahuna here, ZR1, and it is of course blocked off by some Chevrolet gate here because they don't want you touching this one. It's a little expensive. It's got the big giant wing on the back. It's got the LT5 engine. It's like 755 horsepower, carbon fiber bits throughout. Some awesome wheels. It's got the giant air inlets are here on the front grill, which is unique, and carbon fiber splitter, it's got a, a Jake decal right there on the, on the cow, which is badass. CR2 four wheel drive crew cab short box 2019 Trail Boss behind me, except it's made out of Legos. The rear bumper always has that uh, inlay, the footstep. Yeah. I'm guessing uh, you probably shouldn't <laughs> step on that one, huh? Not. Because uh, <laughs> you're gonna break the Legos. And you know, it's really cool too because it even has the rear sliding glass inlay oh, in the Trail Boss emblem. Just like crazy. I don't know how they're gonna get this thing out of here. LT, just like mine. <laughs> There's some stats. Almost half a million Lego bricks, 2,000 hours. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Find new Lego roads. Now we're done with the Lego Trail Boss. We're actually gonna look at a real one. We had an MSRP of 55,895. And the Trail Boss comes with some extra goodies there. You get some more aggressive off-road wheels, tires, a blacked out front end. It's got this awesome bright red, which is a signature red hot color. And then we're gonna 
check out the interior here. Let's hop into the trail, boss. Yeah. The gauge cluster is more generic than the last generation, that's funny. But the steering wheel is a more rugged design. The buttons are so-so, but the stems on the bottom, it's way more aggressive. It's got a blacked out bow tie for the steering wheel. And then the gauges are just set up differently. In the end, it's a truck. As long as it can do what it's meant to do. But this interior is different than the last generation, but it feels the same when you're sitting in it. Pretty cool. How about I just start her up and start driving through all the people? This is more your style. Look, oh, it's exactly the same as my car now. What is it? This. What about it? It's exactly the same as my car. And what do you call that when they put the same parts in multiple vehicles? Parts bin. That's right, parts bin. She's learning. So we're in the new Cherokee. Whoa. Henry would like it, or Pooch. Yeah, Henry would have all kinds of room back here. So what? No, no GMC terrain. No, I don't know. Because this has this thing. What's, this has what? The, whatever this is. It's a gear shifter. Yeah, that. I don't yeah. like that the other one doesn't have that. Because it's electric. It's, and this oh, is this a, is all that good. I don't like electric. Yeah, like the dial. Like this doesn't shut off when I come to a stop? No. <laughs> like, like the shifter on the new terrain is an electric shifter. It's yes. a knob. It's an electric mechanism. No, they're like mechanism. right here. You like park, drive. Yeah, right. I don't like, like you that. hit park, drive. That's electric. That's, that's a lever, you know, so it's mechanical. This has auto lights. You know? Well, this is going to be your next ride, probably. All right, we'll go buy it. Mopar fan you, Fiat Dodge Mopar. You're not good enough for Chevrolet. Too good. Too good. <laughs> The new 2020 Gladiator, 100% truck, 100% Jeep. Uh oh, she spotted something. I think the Cherokee's taking the back seat to this bad boy right here. <laughs> Is that it? It's a Jeep truck. That's what I want. That's what you want, huh? Jeep truck. All right. Well, go, go spend your money. Oh, did you already see the price? No, I haven't. I'm sure not yet.
let's jump in a new Ram Limited. Well, this truck has like the best interior of all new trucks. Look at this thing. Look at that screen for days. Look at that. It's bigger than my hand. It's crazy. Look at all the stitching. Embroidered. So this Ford right here is the only Ford that I would own. This car is totally badass and I would love this thing. It's so cool, so mean, and uh, yeah. All right, so we're heading out. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you appreciate the uh, content I made for you guys. Uh, just checking out the Cleveland Auto Show. So I uh, wanted to be more detailed, but I'm a little bit uh, awkward in front of the camera still, especially in public. But I'm trying, and uh, plus I'm getting over cold, so kind of not feeling well. Uh, we're actually heading out earlier than we originally anticipated. So, uh, but I'll do some editing here and try to get you something fun to watch so stay tuned and uh, thanks for checking out Mooch Life and uh, we'll see you next time.